Mod Review. <laughs> G'day everyone, my name is Ryonix and welcome to a review of a demo of a mod for Doki Doki Literature Club. Today the demo we will be reviewing is a demo for Doki Doki Fallen Angel. You're the purple mod made by Noah T. Wait, Noah T, Noah Ta. Now, this is the last year of the purple mod that I will be reviewing. I mentioned before in the Outcast video that Lavender Scent and Alone Together, the other two year of the purple mods, have been cancelled. And obviously Outcast released a few weeks ago, so now apart from Fallen Angel, there's nothing really left. But anyway, let's get the basics out of the way. First off, this is a romance mod. It is primarily Yuri focused. The other dokies are there, but there is no route. Monica does go slightly crazy in this mod, but it's not to the point where you could actually call her insane or game breaking. None of your files are messed with as far as I'm aware, and the playtime is roughly one to two hours, depending on how fast you read. Now for the plot. Noah T describes the mod as, rather than building a romantic relationship with Yuri, it's a mod that will finally allow you to help her through her insecurities. This does make me a bit nervous. Fallen Angel seems to be dealing with Yuri's issues as social anxiety and ADHD. And that's the thing, these sort of issues can't just be solved away, certainly not in the time frame that a mod would allow for. However, in the demo, Noah does seem to handle it fairly well, and apparently when writing about these issues, he's dealing with his own personal experience. So I trust that he'll be able to portray it fairly well. We'll just have to see how well he does when the main mod is released. Now for the characters. Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri are all portrayed very well. It feels like the characters that they were in the main game. However, Monica's character is not portrayed well. I did mention before that she goes slightly crazy, but not so much. She's very antagonistic in this mod. Because when I'm done with you, not even your parents will recognize your bashed in head. Yeah, go ahead, Yuri. Show everyone what you really like. Show Ryan what you really like. Yuri glances around as you just realize we're all witnessing this. I bet yet, here's a suggestion, Yuri. Have you considered killing yourself? It'd be beneficial to your mental health. Fuck you, Monica! Jeez! Once again, Yuri rushes out of the room with tears in her eyes. As Yuri runs out, Monica shouts at her. Remember, Yuri, sideways for attention. Fucking. I don't know what Monica meant by that, but it sent ice through my veins when she said it. Monica, what the hell is wrong with you? I simply explained to Yuri the consequences of her previous outburst. I look over to see Sayori sitting at a desk with tears down her face and covering her ears. What you said was way out of line. Oh, shall I remind you of what you said yesterday, Natsuki? But I apologized to Yuri later that day. You should too. That won't be necessary. Ryan, can you go find Yuri? I'll talk some sense into Monica. Got it. Make a break for the club door. I wouldn't do that, Ryan. You may not like what you see. Go to hell, Monica! Piss off! Kindly. This was done intentionally, so I'm not gonna mark it down. But no, if you're going to continue to do this, do it carefully. One of the biggest problems with exit music was that the other characters, namely Sayori, Monica, and Yuri, were all just brought to the lowest version of themselves to make Natsuki appear much better. That being said, this mod does tend to focus on Sayori and Natsuki's problems as well. It doesn't just write them off as not being there simply to focus on Yuri, which I have to respect. A lot of mods simply forget the other Dokis, instead choosing to focus on one. Fallen Angel seems like it's not going to have as much focus on the other girls, but it is still going to try and deal with their problems as well. I'll be very interested to see how they handle Monica in the full mod, but just remember not to try and make people hate because there will always be people that love Monica, and they're not going to enjoy your mod if you simply build her to be the villain with no good qualities to her. Now for the writing. Fallen Angel has a very interesting style of writing. It's very good at writing uh, funny and touching moments, as well as moving between the two very quickly, which is something that a lot of mods try to do but aren't able to make work most of the time. This is actually a very solid way to write. A very good trick for making a story entertaining is to constantly switch between highs and lows. The way this mod does it is it goes between funny moments and sad moments consistently. It is something that is very difficult to keep doing over a long period of time, so I'll be interested to see how the final product handles it. Now for the choices. Choices most of the times are nice. Attempt to defuse the situation or pretend you aren't listening. What? You understand that right, Ryan? Um, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretending to not listen sounds like a great option. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this mod. <laughs> These choices are interesting, but they don't seem to have any real effect on the story apart from a few changed lines here or there. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. One of the things with Outcast is that even though most of the choices didn't have a large effect on the story, it felt like they did. It felt like these choices you were making had an effect on the end product. Now, you don't have to do it that way. A story isn't necessarily better because you think the choices you're making have a bigger effect. It really depends on what the creator wants, so I'm not going to mark him down for that either. As far as technical issues go, there really wasn't much. Spelling errors do exist, but they are few and far between, which is what we've come to expect from most mods at this point. Now, Fallen Angel does reuse a lot of Act 1. It's changed a bit to make it more interesting, but still, the points where it's retelling the story of Act 1, even with some of the dialogue changes, 
it is still fairly boring to go through. The most interesting points in the mod are the points that have been rewritten. These points of the story are able to grip you in really well, however you constantly have to go back to the school, have to relive some of the points of Act 1. Luckily the retelling of Act 1 doesn't last very long, it does end after a certain point, but the fact of the matter is since it is half of the demo, it is a bit difficult to get through the start. Now to go over the art. Two CGs are used in Fallen Angel. They are drawn very well, but they are a very different art style to the original DDLC. You get used to it after a while, but the first time you experience it, it is very jarring to suddenly go from one art style to the next. Art is used to transition between acts, and even though we only ever get to see one, it looks very nice, and I'm actually excited to see how the other ones look. A few of the sprites used in the demo are fairly low quality. It's not a big issue, and one that can be fixed fairly easily, but that's the whole point. This could have been something that you fix in half an hour or something, or just by finding the solid sprites. This seemed very odd to me, because every other part of the demo seemed to have a lot of thought put into it and a lot of work to make sure that it appeared good to the player, but this, something that you could fix fairly easily, was just not dealt with. Now to go over the music. From what I can tell, all the music that is added to Fallen Angel has been custom made for the mod. The music itself is really good and very emotional when it needs to be, but the problem is, you can listen to pretty much all the music before you even play the mod. The full mod doesn't even have a release date yet, but yet you can still go on YouTube and look up the soundtrack that's gonna be in the final release. I could understand releasing soundtracks that you put in the demo because people would have listened to them already, but again, you want the player to experience music for the first time when they're playing the mod. Music is at its most emotional and at its most affecting when you experience it for the first time. It is a good way to get people hyped for the mod and to release teasers for it by constantly releasing a new soundtrack, but that comes with its own drawbacks because it detracts from the final release. Now for the ending. The ending is incredibly sudden and sort of comes out of left field, but this is a demo, so I can't really judge it for that. There were a few questions at the end that Noah wanted YouTubers to answer, so I shall let myself from the past answer them for him. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the demo? Ask away. Nice. Overall, what is your general rating of the demo from scale from 90 to 100? Ah, yeah. Constructive criticism. Yeah, he's really looking for that, isn't he? What would you rate the writing, art, and music as in their own respective categories? Writing, I think, was really well done. The scene uh, with Yuri cutting herself in the hallway, that was pretty much perfect. Um, perfectly written, I should say. Art was pr probably the lowest point of the mod, just because there were a few sprites that didn't work well. The CGs were a uh, very different art style. Again, that's not the fault of the artists. They were drawn very well, just... I don't know, when you're making CGs for a game, you want the art styles to really match. Music? Perfect. I really can't critique that. It's really amazing and... <laughs> I really love the music that's playing right now. It's really good. Three. If any, what was the exact number of tears shed throughout the demo? I did not cry, but I did get very close uh, during Yuri's cutting scene. That was a very <laughs> sad moment. Did you feel the girls acted in character and did you think MC was a likeable slash relatable character? Um, Sayori and Natsuki, they were both fine. Yuri, it's weird, because she's not like how she is in the main game. Uh, which is sort of like the two different versions of her. The normal Act 1 version and the Act 2 version. This, uh, mod seems to be combining the two of them. Which is fair enough, it's your own interpretation of Yuri's character. And to be honest, it's one I kind of share, but... Yeah, if you're really looking for them to be in character, then... That's it. Monica, yeah, she was not in character. <laughs> she was not. Um, she was a little too overt about hating the other girls. And did you think MC was a likeable slash relatable character? Um, to be honest, I didn't really give him much second thought. I thought he was fine. I didn't have a problem with him, but, um, yeah, I, he didn't really stand out, but I, I liked him. Lastly, are there any comments or any suggestions about the mod as a whole that you have? Finish it. That's all I have to say. Just finish it and make sure that you're happy. Overall, this is one of the better demos out there. Unfortunately, there's not much I can critique or suggest improvements on since it's not the full story. A lot of the writing faults could simply be things that are building up to later on. A lot of the things that aren't dealt with could be dealt with later on, so there's not much I can go into as far as improvements. And again, it is also a demo. I don't want to nitpick over something like this since the writer is likely to have improved over time since they started. But nevertheless, I'm still very excited to see the full release of this product. But until Fallen Angel fully releases, this is it for the Year of the Purple Mods that I shall be reviewing. We should move on to another doki now, but we'll see. But anyway, thank you for joining me in this adventure. If you enjoyed it, then let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I can. And thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Uh, which does not bode well for me. But oh well. Tino, me a bloody poke and get your ass out here. I really. I hate to make jokes in such a touching scene like this. This is so cute. Of course, I'll